Hi, today we will talk about the galvanic or voltaic cell. Galvanic cell, also called voltaic cell, devices that use chemical reactions to create electricity, specifically على وجه التحديد oxidation or reduction reaction. A battery is an example of galvanic cell. A galvanic cell can be made out of any two metals. These two metals can form the anode and the cathode. So, it consists of number one, the anode. The anode is an electrode where oxidation occurs. Number two, the cathode. The cathode is an electrode where reduction occurs. Number three, the salt bridge. A salt bridge is a chamber of electrolytes necessary to complete the circuit in a voltaic cell. Number four, the oxidation and reduction reactions. The oxidation and reduction reactions are separated into compartments called half cells. We use salt bridge not only for connecting the two circuits but also for maintaining charge balance because the electrons are moving from one half cell to the other. The electrons flow from the anode to the cathode. The oxidation reaction that occurs at the anode generates electrons and positively charged are. The electrons move through the wire leaving the unbalanced positive charged in this vessel. In order to maintain neutrality, the negatively charged ion in the salt bridge will migrate into the anodic half cell. A similar situation is found in the cathodic cell, where copper ions are being consumed, and therefore electroneutrality is maintained by migration of potassium. We first start with two beakers, one of them is zinc sulfate. Solution the other is copper sulfate. We use a metal wire to connect the two pieces of metal together. Then electrons start moving along the wire from zinc to copper. Zn atoms are in the edge of the metal, while Zn positive 2 are in the solution. The other beaker contains Cu positive 2 ions dissolved in copper sulfate solution. Cu atoms in the edge of Cu metal. When we connect both together, electrons start moving. Why? Because Cu positive 2 has a strong pull of electrons. Zn has a weaker pull of electrons. Cu positive 2 really want electrons, so Zn atom gives two electrons and the charge changes from neutral zinc to Zn positive 2. Note that neutral atoms make up solid metal and metal ions can usually dissolve in water. So, after it becomes Zn positive 2, it's no longer part of the solid metal and it dissolves in the solution. Electrons go to the Cu and one of these Cu positive 2 that really want electrons gaining the two electron electrons and turn it to neutral atom not able to dissolve in the solution and become a part of solid metal. So over time we will see that piece of Zn starts to dissolve and the piece of solid copper get bigger. Application for galvanic cell The lithium iodine polyvinyl pyridine battery uh, first implanted in 1972 has become the power source of choice for cardiac pacemaker. Uh, uh, the pacemaker unit delivers an electrical pulse with the proper intensity and the proper location to stimulate the heart as at a desired rate.